game. Chromebooks will center around cloud game. I wonder if this is why it came up. I wonder if um, Cloudy, uh, not Cloudy, but uh, Low Five Monk saw this and brought it up as a, as a topic. That's the Founders Edition. Gaming Chromebooks will, certain, uh, will center around cloud gaming. Chromebooks have never been associated with gaming. While they can run some Android games, you're not going to turn to a Chromebook to get some serious gaming done. However, that might change in the near future. The first fleet of gaming-focused Chromebooks will center around cloud gaming. We've known that Google has been wanting to boost the gaming cap capabilities of its Chromebooks for a while. The company launched the alpha version of Steam a few months ago to top spec Chromebooks. Now gaming Chromebooks will be focused on cloud. Okay. As funny as this may sound, there are some gaming Chromebooks on the horizon. Google partnered with HP and Lenovo to produce some Chromebooks with hardware tuned to be optimal for gaming. The, then Lenovo gave like a six month trial of Stadia. I think they did, right? Lenovo and AT&T. It's a lot of partnerships building. That's what it is, man. You just got to give give people time to build those networks, build those partnerships, those relationships. Uh, it's just ridiculous that people assume a three-year-old, not even a three-year-old company is going to be blowing, you know, decades old uh, companies out of the water. It's ridiculous. Uh, now we've now we're not sure what kind of hardware we're going to get with these books, even though they're meant for gaming. Don't expect them to have the latest and greatest CPUs and GPUs. Why? Because these Chromebooks are going to be re rendering the actual games. According to 9to5 Google, these new Chromebooks are going to focus on cloud gaming. Cloud gaming technology is growing as there are several companies out there with their own streaming services. These gaming Chromebooks will use two of the most popular uh, cloud gaming platforms, Stadia and GeForce Now. It's obvious that Stadia is included in this and it's nice to see that there's another option. Yeah, because they own Chromebook. <laughs> In all honesty, Stadia hasn't been doing too well in recent months. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the image of Stadia is not doing well. The technology is be getting better. And, and uh, Anyways, I get triggered easily. Now the software for these computers will be tweaked a bit to accommodate for streaming. For starters, the Google Stadia and GeForce Now apps will come pre-installed on them. Not only that, but they will be pinned to the start screen. See, this is how you do it, man. This is so both. So, a uh, Chromebook is owned by Google, but uh, you know, okay, Chromebook is owned by Google, and they're pre installing NVIDIA's GeForce Now app on their, on their uh, operating system, right? That's good, right? Uh, NVIDIA owns GeForce Now another streaming service and they're uh from what today's from the first story of the day they're uh creating custom uh, gpus for google stadia to test on you see what i'm saying that's how you do it because they understand that cloud game is a baby still and uh by lifting like uh what was it uh, what did uh rock say last time uh, uh it's a famous saying but he says it's so good uh, uh, a rising tide raises all boats, something like that. So for the same reason that Tesla released their very, very good battery technology to the public, to all, for all these companies that are, you know, they're, they should be, they should be better at it, but they're not. Uh, they started creating electrical vehicles using the battery technology from Tesla because they know that the more electric cars are out there the more people are going to invest in charging stations and therefore it's going to make tesla's uh, vehicles more uh, appealing to consumers when they know that they don't have to go a hundred miles just to charge or they don't have to spend uh, tens of thousands to put a battery uh, a charging system in their house does that make sense Right, it's these relationships that build that that bring the industry up higher, higher. There's tons of uh, examples like this, so it's weird to me that when I, I, there we go, soap opera. 
I mean, uh, a soap. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. The um, I'm on my soap box. There you go. It's weird to me that when people see, okay, Google is doing an enterprise version of Stadia, and then immediately people are like, why would they do that? Why would they destroy their own business by allowing this technology for? Because they're being smart. They're going to. That's going to give them the 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 data and the and the support that they need to make that technology better, which is going to bring their platform to a better better state. You know, I mean, there's examples all over the place, but it's it's uh, it's ridiculous that people don't see it. We don't know much more about these com computers, so we'll need to wait for these computers to get closer to release. Information like price and availability will come out when these computers near their launch. Uh, Purple Haze was saying that she was going to get a computer system, a, a, a Chromebook for her job, uh, from her job, from her job, yeah, something like that. And I'm like, that's clever. A Chromebook is like 200 bucks. Uh, the computer that, my, that I bought for for my, the one that I use, my laptop, which is small, I, I, I regret doing it. But you look at a Chromebook, uh, not a Chromebook, a regular laptop, they're a good one. A gaming laptop is what, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, depending on how hardcore you go with it. Uh, but now if you have a Chromebook and then you have something like Shadow PC or, you know what I mean, uh, a system that allows you to access very powerful computers in the cloud, then you just got to make sure that the internet, uh, the, your internet infrastructure is good enough. And then you say, so you spend a little bit more money on your inter internet infrastructure and you save a lot of money in hardware. You see, I mean, you see what I'm saying? Especially if you're like a small company that can't afford 10 you know, two thousand dollar machines to be able to edit photos or edit videos or whatever computations. I'm sure Papa Bear uh, has to have a, at least access to a powerful system or a, a powerful system for himself to be able to compute all the all the data that he needs to for his job. You know what I'm saying? That would make it easier. A Chromebook with access to a server farm somewhere uh, would uh, would be way more beneficial. Um, then you know, I mean, spending my, all that money in the hardware, anyways. Transition. <laughs>